His willingness to compete was phenomenal. That, that, that's what yeah. I, I looked at that Roosters side who have been the benchmark the last two years, and he single-handedly outcompeted them. That was the difference. That was the difference that the hunger, the younger legs, they came over the top of the reigning premiers in that regard. They were down 10 0. Everyone wanted to see this test. The Panthers wanted this test. We wanted to see it. They'd been the best side all year, but they were up against the best. And down 10 0, they looked nervous, they looked jittery. But there was a moment where they dragged Brett Morris into touch where if it had gone 16-0, they were in deep, deep, you know what. They were in big trouble because the Roosters were going through them with ease. They rallied together on that left edge. They risked Brett Morris into touch. And from that moment, I said during the call, this incredible knack with, with this young Panthers side, they have no fear of failure. They are just willing to attack. And whilst Cleary's getting all the accolades, and deservedly so, his 5-8 at the moment is playing as well as Munster. He's playing as well as any half in the competition. This was exceptional. Kick out, broke through, got a quick play of the ball. Just watch this in a blink of an eye. He's out of dummy half. There's Nathan. There's that competitiveness I was talking about. He threads it through. There's Tedesco going for the ball. But Nathan just got there. He just wanted it more. He got there. Tedesco, body on the line stuff. But because he put himself in the picture, he came up with the rewards was Cleary, but this was, this was brilliant. Now, I'm going to show you another angle in a minute. What Luai just did to that right edge was special, and only few players can do it. Watch what he does with his eyes here. We'll have a look at the closer angle that we'll see what he just does here to Tupanua and Flanagan. Eyeballs them, skips, and the tempo on the show here leaves Flanagan second guessing. Now, he has to overchase, and that opens the space for Crichton to go back through. Their connection on that left edge, kick out, Crichton and Luai is almost unstoppable. And the fact that they get a week off now, they are humming towards what will be an incredible prelim final. And the West will go berserk if they get there. But they fair dink and will. It's been a, a stellar year and the two halves have been brilliant. But I just don't think Jerome Luai is getting the accolades that he deserves.